why I just feel like I feel like I'm above YA but literally some of my favorite books are YA so <laughs> I need to just get over myself <laughs> like, they just like look like good beautiful black people and also when I was in the library I'm so sorry about the vacuum in the background it's fine everything's fine I'm gonna keep going so it is almost February. I am seven books into my reading goal for the year 2024. And in this video, I'm going to share with you my February TBR. I also noticed that every time I do a reading video, I have a hoodie on and I feel like it just gives the cozy vibe. So we're just gonna go with it. I apologize if there's any background noise. Um, you know, as you know, I don't live in my own area, in my own house and the cleaners are here for my parents. So here we are. I'm going to start with the book that I'm currently reading, which is actually on my Kindle, and it's The Serpents and the Wings of Night. So I've heard a lot about this book. Um, I specifically for searched fantasies and like uh, like romanticies specifically, and this book came up multiple times. So I've already started reading it. I'm only about 5% in, and it's really good. It's an interesting story. Um, it's vampires, which I haven't read a vampire story in so long. I like read the first Vampire Diaries book, but it was after I like watched so many seasons of it. So I think I just couldn't get through into the story just because like the seasons were in my head and then I was trying to like read the book and it just wasn't working out. Um, and then before that it was like Twilight. So that's the last time I read a vampire book. But <laughs> anyway, this one, it's, it's getting good and I'm really interested in it and to read more about it it's a dual yeah a duology so there's two books in it and then there's a novella uh as well which is like a mini novel so um i'm gonna read that as well but so far so good february is black history month so i am focusing mainly on black authors this month i'm just gonna read as many as i can and also hopefully go find some new black authors um but we'll see how that goes i am not in my spending girl era right now i am in a 12 week year where i'm trying to save an emergency fund so um i spending really isn't on the docket so i may or may not spend the money. Um, I don't think I'm going to actually. I'll do it later. In this spring, I plan on going to New York uh, to go book shopping. So I might buy something, but as of right now, I don't think I will. But because of that, I'm just going to go with the books that are on my bookshelf that are by Black authors. And the first one is Beasts of Prey. This is by Yana Gray, I believe. Yes, Ayanna Gray. I gotta get this sticker off. I just can't right now because it's tearing as I get it off. It's just, it's not gonna come off easy. It's not gonna come off easy. So I'll just do it later. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so this book, from what I understand, um, it is about a warrior and she's like in a zoo or protecting a zoo. Uh, that's where like beast, the beast parts come comes from. And something happens, let's see, set in motion with a chilling sequence of events that not only upends, upends her whole world, but also links her to a complicated stranger with secrets of his own. Okay, so the start of a stunning, stunning sweeping fantasy series from debut author Ayana Gray. Beasts of Prey is an epic adventure where monsters hide in plain sight and two determined teens must decide whether to fight for what they've always dreamed of or for each other. Ooh, I got chills reading that last paragraph. Uh, first of all, it has a very nice map on the inside. We love a good map, okay? We love a good map. I love a good fantasy and then it seems like it has a little romance with it. Uh, the only negative I have is it, I think it's classified as YA and sometimes I just can't stand YA because usually the main female character gets on my nerves, usually. But <laughs> this has decent ratings on Goodreads. I think it was like in the threes, like high threes. So I actually have the second book on my shelf already. I went to Books A Million for the first time and they were both on the bargain price table so I bought them both. But anyway, these three books should be the first ones that I read. These are all from the library so that's why I should read these first. So this one, Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon, this is also a movie. I did not know it was a book first. So that's what intrigued me to go get the book from the library to read it. Um, sometimes I have a hard time when I know the story already reading the book, but I wanted to give it a try, especially because Nicola Yoon actually has a book coming out this year and I may or may not want to purchase it. So I wanted to see if I like her writing. So that's another reason why I picked up this book. This book is about a girl who has 
has a sickness that makes her have to stay inside. And then she gets a new a new next door neighbor who's very intrigued about her and decides to talk to her and swoon her. So <laughs> if you haven't seen the movie and you're not a reader, it's a really good movie. But um, as far as the book, I don't know, but I'm interested to find out. But the, the story of The Sun is also a star, which I also love that movie. But once again, I got the book because I want to see how her writing is. Another library book, two other library books that I got. These are, I got these at the same time. Tessa Bailey. This one is, or by, they're by Tessa Bailey. This one is Love Her or Lose Her. And this one is Unfortunately Yours. So Love Her or Lose Her is about a couple who, um, they are having issues in their marriage and she wants to find a way to get them back together. He seems kind of nonchalant about it. So somehow, some way counseling or like a marriage retreat comes up in like suggestions for what they should do to kind of get their marriage back together. And surprising or more surprising to her, uh, he says yes. And so they decide to go to marriage counseling. But during marriage counseling, apparently a secret of his comes out, which completely rocks their marriage. I mean, come on. Duh, right? <laughs> I have heard some good things about Tessa Bailey, um, specifically from one of the YouTubers I I watch. Her name is Shaughnessy Schroeder. I've mentioned her before if you watch any of my book videos. Um, and she's mentioned that she likes Tessa Bailey's writing. So I want to try one out. And then also when I was in the library, I'm so sorry about the vacuum in the background. It's fine. Everything's fine. Then I saw this book called Unfortunately Yours uh, because I was already in the section with the other Tessa Bailey books and I decided to take a peek at this one and what got me was A Marriage of Convenience. It's somewhere on the back of this book. It's Marriage of Convenience but um, it got me and then the last paragraph says now a quickie marriage could help them both. A sham wedding in a few weeks living together under the same roof and then they can go about their separate ways assuming they can make it out alive. How hard could it be? There's just one thing they didn't account for. Their unfortunate, unbearable, undeniable attraction. Woo, I'm so excited. I love the trope marriage of convenience. I feel like it's it's my fave. It's one of my favorite romance tropes. Like, I don't know why. I don't know why I think this is a realistic thing. Oh yeah, let's just get married just cause we need to trick someone. This is stupid, but I just like reading it. So <laughs> that is what got me for this one. Once again, these are uh, library books. So I need um, to kind of prioritize them just so I can give them back to the library when they're due. These books, actually, I'm gonna add one more to my TBR and there's a reason. So in the the second week of February I'm actually going on a vacation I'm going away so I intend on taking three books with me um and then I'm just gonna of course I'm gonna take my Kindle with me just in case I am being in a mood and I want to read something specific but the three books I'm going to take with me on vacation are these here this Jasmine Gully book called Drunk on Love um and I don't know much about this I just know that I like Jasmine Gully's writing so I'm not gonna read it I just know that I like her writing. So we're just gonna go into this one blind. We're just gonna blind read. This is Honey and Spice. This is a YA. I don't know why I'd be picking up YA books. I usually be not a fan of them, but I don't know, it was the cover that got me. And this gets a lot of hype on uh, Book Talk actually. So I'm interested to see what this is about. Let's see, the last paragraph says, uh, they'll soon embroil, they're soon embroiled in a fake relationship. Oh, look at that. Look at that, marriage of, uh, marriage of convenience, <laughs> dating of convenience, I love it. <laughs> and a fake relationship to try and salvage their reputations and save their futures. Kiki has never surrendered her heart before. Oh my gosh, with the vacuuming. Has never surrendered her heart before. And a player like Malachi won't be the one to change that, no matter how charming it is or how electric their connection feels. But surprisingly, uh, entertaining study sessions and intimate late night talks at old fashioned diners force Kiki to look beyond her whole, her own presumptions. Is she ready to open herself up for something deeper? What? The chills, bro. This sounds really cute. And oh, first of all, this couple, can we just get into the couple on the cover? Like they just look good. They just like look like good, beautiful black people. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I'm really excited about this one. So I'm going to take that one on vacation and then excuse me while I ugly cry. This was another wreck that I just got off of booktube or booktok, whatever. Um, and 
it this one is about a girl who she has um she has a journal and she has like lists but they, yes her journal goes missing and there's a guy who finds the journal but then he loses the journal and then one day someone starts like blackmailing her with the pages from the journal or stuff that's written in the journal and her and the guy team up to find the journal so it's really an interesting story um and it's also ya and i'm just like bruh but on the back it does say this book is a wonderful and perfect for readers of all ages so okay i mean i guess it can be good i don't know why i just feel like i feel like i'm above ya but literally some of my favorite books are ya so <laughs> i need to just get over myself <laughs> there is one more book that I'm going to read my nonfiction book of February and it's going to be it's called Fasting Like a Girl. Let me look it up real fast. Yeah it's called Fasting Like a Girl A Woman's Guide to Using the Healing Power of Fasting to Burn Fat, Boost Energy, and Balance Hormones. This is going to be my nonfiction for the month of February. I want to get into fasting because I basically I'm just trying to bring my body back to like a level that is just normal like cut out some things cut out some medicines um cut out the bad things that are for me especially dairy is not good for me a lot of sugar is not good for me so cutting out those things getting my body back to a baseline and then going from there so i was doing some research and then this book came about so i'm like this is gonna be my february nonfiction. i love that for me so that is it for my february tbr like i said i have a decent amount of books <laughs> because I am going on a vacation so every time I go on vacation I prioritize reading because um honestly like I prioritize all the things that I can't do at home which is like take a beat like literally sit down and do nothing like I when I'm home I'm always doing something whether it's making a video whether it's taking care of my kids or my kids have events or I have an event um or working whatever uh, so i take vacation honestly to chill like and this vacation is a little bit different but i am going to be reading so these are the three that i'm going to take on vacation so really i only have like five books on my tbr we can count this as one because i plan on reading these in a week but <laughs> but yeah so this is my very large tbr for february thanks for watching if you enjoy if you enjoy my book content please make sure you leave me a comment down below i read for my self-care for my sanity for just something fun while i do life and i'm going to continue adding my reading content to my channel so if you're here for productivity don't worry that is not going to end but if you enjoy productivity as well as some having a good time reading you are in the right place, my friend. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video, guys, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.